Hello all developers, welcome back to all of you once again. My name is Dikhil here. I have been 3 years of experience as a service node developer. And hope you all are doing well. So from today, we will learn to fulfill the delivery of an application for ticket booking system. It will be basically a scope application and which will include all the technical knowledge such as see i am using the tokyo version so tokyo versions came with es6 javascript support so this all this technical knowledge we are going to use it is es6 javascript scripting we can cover such as script include business flow client script maybe UI policy, UI action, it depends on the requirement and the service portal for booking, checking status and lot more like cancelling virtual agent for booking status checking and for contact support catalog item code producer basically for to book the ticket to cancel the ticket we can design and see we could use the flow designer for the approval and workflow for the approval both we will see both how to use and it would be very helpful for the developers to understand what when and why to use a scope application so to create a scope applications i will show you once you land on your home page service now home page if you will click this let's go button here it will navigate you to app engine studio home page and to create an application you could just click this create application button i already have created which is ES6 plus practice so this application have three tables you could see booking info seat bus transporter and whenever you create a table for each table ACO and role has been created like for crud create read update and delete see if booking info user sit underscore user transporter user and uh, all these are the experience basically it will uh, show you the form So you could see the data from here like if if you have if you will have any record associated with the particular tables of for your custom application then it will show like this and to if you click this preview it will show you it will redirect you to show all the records in list view and if you click edit here wait for a while Welcome to Table Builder. So from here also you can design your table 
form so let's see the use case actually i have recorded the video but uh, due to the sound which was not captured i am re explaining all these use cases which i have done and it was a big mistake and it took me a uh, two hours to record and after that i realized that oh my sound my voice was not captured and it was really regretted regretful for me so first use case we have a table called bus transporter if you install new seat for that transporter then automatically total seats fill should be incremented so let's go here for that what i have done see we have this bus transporter table so when i install a new seat this total seats will be automatically incremented by 1 and not only that its seat number is read only from the client side using ui policy so we can't edit from here we can only edit from the back end so let's open this and i will show you the business rule which i have created configure business rule and hope my explanation will help you So once we install a new seat for the transporter so before insert seat record what it will do it will take a parent sys id basically this is id we are taking because this seat has this parent transporter each and every seat has their own parent transporter and refer through this transporter field so we can access this is id using this transporter field okay and what i am doing here is that current dot status equal to 1 means if you install the new seat okay so then the status should be ready for booking that's why and the value back end value for this status is 1 second uh, after that we done sorry i am updating the parent record as i told you we have to update the total seats once we install a new seat for the transporter so i have written a glide record and this is the parent uh, transporter table and i have added a filter that is sys id using this parent id which is the transporter id asking transporter to query and if i will get any record then that particular record i have to update and i have to update the field which is total seats so i am taking the previous value and storing to this variable see i am able to use this late because uh, as i said we can use es6 person javascript in 
Tokyo versions and friend I forgot to tell you that open record see I have enabled this JavaScript mode yes ECMAScript 2021 yes 12 means after yes 2015 to 2021 all the features that has been came in ES6 will support by the service now this is scope application okay and friend uh, let's go here so I'm taking the previous total sheets value here and incrementing uh, see friend whenever you take the value from the form could be in the string format then in this case we have to convert into number that's why I have converted into the integer here using this parse and functions and after that I am adding a 1 and then I'm setting a total sheet with incremented value. Okay. Not only that, the same value here. If total seats will be four, then the it means then it means we have installed the new, new sheet and we have uh, four sheets so based on that this sheet number field value will also be updated as you could see and the message it will display that new sheet has been installed for transporter and uh, you might if you have not seen this before I will tell you this is the string template literal in the ES6 JavaScript version. We can write both string and variable together. Not only that, we can write in the next line as well. And to put the variable with the string, you have to use this expression dollar opening curly bracket and closing curly bracket and basically it will show the number okay so let's install uh, the new sheet for this transporter so we just have to submit okay so is redirected me to here so go back so if you'll go here you could see the total sheet there are uh, four sheets for this transporter and that's why it has been updated to four and the number one two three four nice In the second use case was we have table call booking info that should be populated as related list so that the conductor driver and owner can easily track how many customer has booked this transporter okay let's see that friend i have this table booking information okay so This record is not the child of this transporter. Transporter uh, record it is the child of seat. And here you could see this seat because for the customer Nikhil Gupta. 
one seat has been requested to book that's why here you could see this is status in waiting list and status is booking request okay so here we have to populate right uh, this record is not the child of this transporter but this seat is the child of this transporter what i did that i created a relationship under the system definitions you could see relationship okay and i will have to sort and you could see booking information See, I am applying on this first transporter table because we have to show the list of booking information as a related list on the transporter record. So I have selected bus transporter applies table and queries from table from where. you are fetching a record so queries from table and here how we are relating that filter you have to write here see this booking info has the field called seat and seat has the parent transporter okay so it means seat the transporter equal to parent dot c id here the parent is nothing but the transporter and this c id will match with the parent of this book information which is this seat okay all this is it could be any uh one of them but i uh, right now it is referring to this seat okay this seat field is referring to this this seat if the seat dot transporter equal to sys id of the current open record then all the list will be appear here is it right the simple Let's close it that's how it is appearing and let's see third point is that when booking record created then the status should be booking request and the seat status should be in eight waiting list for the approval at the time of seat selection only available tickets should display that is status ready for booking and waiting list yeah it makes sense because uh if i will book a new ticket wait for a while so if i say um, i 
ni hal Madesia, eight, 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 okay. Nihal, whatever Gmail dot com, and when I create the record, then the status should be automatically. Uh, set to booking request and here only that seats will be appear which is in waiting list and ready for booking and let's book this and you could see here now from two status i bring all this so that uh, we can search to from two status okay from source and where you want to go like that to and we can also check that whether the seat is available or not through the status so let's select this and just submit so here I don't know sometime what happened to the service now so you could see uh, two seats have been requested for booking so you could waiting list waiting list so for that also see if i'll try to open this it will not showing open new window copy well because this booking information table is not the direct child of the parent so you have to come from here Let's close this business rule and leave it. Configure business rule. tab is I've written a business rule in this table so configure business rule booking request so here once the booking record will create will update its parent as well as itself means uh, its update status to booking request and parents to waiting list means the parent of this booking information is this seat so it So you could see I have selected the seat table and the same as we have uh, done in this uh, business rules of this seat table like first we are trying to access the sys id of the parent and we are updating the status.
and just have to save that's it that's all I have done for today and next uh, after this video I will try to upload in I will try to explain and walk together because as I said my voice was not captured while doing all these things so it was bad for me so friend thank you for watching we'll see in the next video session